So here we go, we got some aluminum. I'm gonna draw a line around with a pencil and, uh, and then cut it out and then figure out where I'm gonna bend it. Covered the wing in masking tape so that when I hold pieces of material over top, I don't scratch the aluminum too bad. Gives me a work surface to lay out a, 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 a pattern. So that's that. And this here piece folds down underneath like that. And that's got to be bent right there at a 45 degree, like that angle in. And then there's a little tip out on the end of the wing here that I have to nip this off and then fabricate it back on with a row of uh, rivets all the way along that tip. So it kind of looks like a little wing. So I flip this over. And that's the pattern to the other side. So I'm liking it. And what else I did was the piece that goes here, this piece, uh, I basically used the round over bead roller in the set, the small one quarter inch I think and then I bead rolled it and then I just took a dolly and a hammer and I dollied over this edge and made it so that it was curved like a fender lip on a car it's got like its own little fender lip that kind of holds it rigid so I think that'll add to the uh, integrity of it and not cause it to you know catch wind and work hardened fasteners or work hardened aluminum and have it break or crack when the wind is going against it. So it's got to be a little rigid. Um, I guess I could always like uh, roll it right over and put a bead in there, piece of, uh, piece of stainless steel welding wire. Never thought about that till now. Well, we'll give that a try maybe. Okay, well that's it for now later so now I got these these jaws I have my break is at my job site so I need to break that and it don't extend all the way out to the other end but the critical bend is right in the middle so I'm going to use this to break it. so I got it on that line now I'm going to clamp down the vise and I'm going to bend that more than 90 degrees. Okay, so <clears throat> I folded it down and now I just want to kind of like settle this a bit. shift it in there and then whale it on both ends okay so we'll take this off this nut didn't come off for me so I had to take the lens off and very methodically go in there and knock the head off the fastener that was in this cover so I'm going to put some uh, walnuts on that lip I had screws coming through the backside with nuts on them and then acorns to hold this on but now I'm going to put walnuts and put stainless steel screws in to hold this on. So, let's take a view at this here now. Lay one on top of the other and kind of see where I got to bend it. I really got to knife that back some more. So I'm going to give her another squash with me foot. There, that looks more like an airplane blade. There, now we 
should be able to have the same angle as this on there. That's the mirror image of it. So how are we for length? There's the tip there. That should bend down right there. And this here looks a little long by like 3 sixteenths. All right, so there's the wing on and the tailpiece set into position. And you can see real how close it is to the tire. So I'm going to manipulate that and tuck that fender underneath it. So from this top line to this bottom one right there, that bottom one. And I want this distance to be the same on the opposite side. So I'm just going to put a mark here and a mark here and that will give me a reference put that there stretch this up here around here and it looks like I'm out 5 sixteenths of an inch so this wing has to pound in there farther and for that to transpire I have to notch this piece right here so that it slides in here and this tip right here is in farther <coughs> 